I've been feeling so, I've been feeling so down, yeah. Can you tell me why? Can you tell me why? I'm down, yeah. No friends of mine, no friends of mine around, yeah. Now I'm thinking now, now I'm thinking now. Why the cottage room blows, yeah. I wanna drown myself inside the juice, yeah. You know I. I'm just making my instagram post this morning because i realized i don't post like at all so i should share some more and also just because i really like the teapot i made it's so cute it makes me so happy if you're wondering where the teapot is now she's over here just chilling morning i don't know why but i'm just having like the best monday morning ever i actually did my hair for once which is not the best still because my bangs are kind of eh but it's still good the sun is being super moody these days but I can see snow on the mountains now that's really fun I woke up early for once in my life and I actually got to like exercise a little and stretch and I made a full meal I don't know I just really value a good start to the day there are times where i just roll out of bed and literally go straight into work or straight to a meeting which i don't think is that bad but i don't want to keep doing that every day of the week so i'm gonna do more of this hopefully so it is nearing february and i closed my shop the third week of november or maybe the second so it's been at least two months and my shop is long overdue to be opened again and that's what I'm going to be doing these two weeks. That means I'm going to go into a shop prep phase. I want to try to open up on the 15th, maybe a little later than that, but I'm not gonna be too strict on myself on the deadlines. But in order to be more prepared this time around and just, you know, less stressful, I've made a little plan. These are all the things that I wanna get done and then also possible future products coming soon. I do have this one problem where I haven't been circulating my inventory as much. I just have a lot of old products where I should probably be retiring them at this point, but I end up just not. So I have too many things. I mostly think about that because one, it's just like too much for me to handle. And then two, I want to continually bring out new products without having to just like pile on to existing things oh and the biggest point is that i just don't like to look at my more outdated art because you know as an artist your style and your sense of drawing changes over time so you just want your products and your store to reflect that as well because i know that something i drew in 2018 is not what i want to look at so this week is just going to be very calm print everything I need, cut all the stickers, and inventory. Oh, and I gotta do all my Patreon stuff this week. Let go! Just 
stuff from Trader Joe's. Not bad. I don't really know what I'm making, but uh, let's just put some noodles. There we go. If the eggs sink to the bottom and lay flat on their side, they're still fresh. However, if they sink but stand on one end at the bottom of the glass or bowl. They're not as fresh but still edible. And then if they float to the top, they shouldn't be eaten. Okay, mine are okay. Yay! Yay, eggs! Wow, when I shake the eggs, I can see the egg yolk. <laughs> no, I broke the egg yolk! <laughs> oh, a baby! I want to make my own soon to bouquet. <laughs> Say hi. <laughs> oh, my tortillas are done. <laughs> we can learn Korean together. Let's go. Hanguk Manha. Irunun Piki. Yeah. Yo-cha-i-go Eagle Eden Piki Oh, there's so many words I did my makeup for no reason I was kind of just like shopping online because Colourpop has this Animal Crossing collab right now 
and so that made me browse through a lot of their products and I resisted the urge to buy any more makeup because I really don't need it so then I just did my own makeup <laughs> in the mood for Valentine's Day and then I did a little heart so speaking of Valentine's Day I definitely want to get my shop up probably around then but I also want to do Valentine's Day stuff which makes me think that I should probably put it out earlier but I think I'm just gonna have it on the day of but I just have some cute ideas and I just want to do them because it's cute and sweet and all these are my little sketches and I realized that I really like small small stickers these days because of my planner so I want to do stuff like that I want to turn the clay pot that I made into a sticker because I really liked how I did that and then also I've got some cute designs just for regular stickers in mind so yeah I am just super dressed up with nowhere to go and I should probably take this off soon before my face breaks out and I'm just gonna be painting and drawing for the rest of today which is still very cozy also, I'm in the middle of watching Alice in Borderland again with friends because it's such a great show. Go give it a watch! Mama said she loved me more if I had a Mercedes Clean it up a little more, drive around and look pretty I just got enough of the tank on my grandma's car White paint, oh wait, baby I can take you far Mama said she loved me more if I had a Mercedes So for the past few days, I've been drawing a lot for work and also drawing a lot for Patreon and the shop reopening and I realized that I was just working my wrist way too much. This is actually like a roller skating wrist guard so it's not like an actual wrist protector you would use for like working but I can't find mine for some reason, like my wrist wrap I guess what it's called? But this will do for now. I realized that I had like a lot of pain in my wrist like halfway through the week and it was kind of scary <laughs> and also because I called my mom and my brother and then they were nagging me about taking care of this better so I will do better <laughs> but yeah overall it is really important to take care of your wrist especially when you're drawing so it's gonna bite back at you if you don't and I need to learn that lesson more and more myself <laughs> but anyways I did get a lot of drawings done I got some Patreon rewards done and these are like the stars of the rewards which are the cherry cherubs because I thought that was a cute concept and I also got to play around with some more pinks and magentas and reds so I love that and then this is actually going to be the print which is a very similar theme and just very cute for the upcoming Valentine's Day it's kind of funny though because I'm not super super fond of Valentine's Day in general but I just really like the overall concept and everything's super sweet and there's a lot of candy and flowers and it's just nice. So in the spirit of that, I made some more of these guys and I love how it turned out. And these guys are actually on their way to me now so hopefully I get them soon for the shop update. And then I have these. These are just like smaller stickers for planners because I realized that for myself when it comes to using a journal and a planner, I like to have the smallest stickers possible so that I can maximize the amount of space I can to write in my journal. I took like three hours to get ready this morning and I actually did my hair and makeup for no reason. But it feels nice to just like get ready for the day even though it took up half of my day. Being the prepared, unprepared self that I am, I made this, kind of followed this, not gonna get to these yet, maybe later but then I have a smaller list. And I can now just check off a few things. That one, and that one. Yay!
Right now I'm trying to figure out the sizings for these sticker sheets. I think they're on a eight and a half by 11 and I did this, but I'm not actually going to be doing this. I'll probably just put different stickers on there instead and utilize this top space. But really to get a scale of this, I'm probably gonna print this out in black and white. It's not a bad size, but I need to think about my spacing more. And the values are reading well, black and white, so it looks to be good overall. I did this little bit of a desk reorganization, so now I could sit with my plants. <laughs> this is my desk currently. It's got the iMac with this antique right underneath it this time so that I could work a little more compact. And then I got the rest of this desk for myself. So now I could place these guys back on the desk instead of just being on the side here. And now they're just a little bit closer to my heart. The minute I decide to film is the time that they start gardening. Ugh, that's just my luck. <laughs> I got my new stickers in like record time. I think I ordered these um, probably five days ago, maybe even less than that, and they're already here. Mm. Oh my goodness, I love this. So this time around, I went with a soft touch matte vinyl because usually I just go with the regular vinyl, but this is just amazing and these guys are a lot bigger than usual and i actually have my patreon sticker ready so i could get this out to people very soon i think the color is just a tad bit darker than i wanted but that's perfectly fine they all turned out really nice here is the patreon one with the cake and the bear and the bunny and then in a similar theme this is the bunny bouquet which is coming to my shop soon and then a bear basket. Ooh.
Ooh. Yeah, I think these just turned out really nice overall. Actually, I finally applied for a PO box last night. I'm just filling out all the paperwork right now to turn into the post office on my lunch break. Except I don't even know if I can actually get it at this point. That's it. Got the keys, baby. I just get nervous from the very small social interactions that I have to have. But I did it and I'm very proud of myself. So I'm gonna treat myself to some yogurt land or something. <laughs> but I did it! It's a cute little box and it's in a pretty good spot, so I'm happy. And this is one of my favorite post offices in the area, so it all worked out well. The theme for the sticker pack that I'm going to show you today is, is COVID. I think the idea of stickers is never very serious. Copy it, open Illustrator, create a new document. Yeah, I'm going to show you the sticker pack. Yeah, I'm going I got the keys! They gave me two pairs. Everything worked out, thankfully. I thought it was gonna be a bad luck day. I don't know why, just the aura of today was just unbalanced. That was something that I put off for way too long. <laughs> I'll have more of the info about the PO box later on this week. I'm excited to be receiving letters from you guys and I'm gonna try my best to write back and all. So this is gonna be so fun. <laughs> I'm just gonna go and finish up my works and also take this Skillshare class that I've been looking into. So recently, I really like the emails that Skillshare gives because they give really good recommendations for you specifically on what classes might interest you. And this one really caught my eye because this is something I've been wanting to do for a while now, which is make Instagram GIFs because those are really fun to like decorate your story and all. So I'm taking this class called Easy Animation Make Fun Cute GIFs for Your Instagram and this is taught by the illustrator Scott Martin. It's pretty darn cool. What's also really cool about it is it's using the Adobe Suite. I haven't really had enough practice in After Effects or animating so I think this would be a cool skill to learn. And if you haven't heard about Skillshare before, it's actually an online learning community with thousands of classes for you to choose from. And I really like their range of class topics. There are things for the creative side, like illustration and animation, but also things like lifestyle and productivity. Skillshare was really nice to sponsor this video, and if you would like to try it for yourself, I have a link down in my description below for the first 1,000 people to try a Skillshare Premium membership for free. The classes are super focused on learning, which means there are no ads and they're always launching new premium classes for you to choose from. And the best thing is it's less than $10 a month with an annual subscription. And that's it. Thank you again to Skillshare for sponsoring this video. And I think that's where I'm going to wrap things up too. Thank you for joining me on this lovely day and I hope you have a wonderful week for yourself and I'll see you soon. Bye bye. Take care.